Hey everyone, welcome back to, uh, well, I guess it's People Mover Inc., isn't it? Uh, where last time got this uh, line going up here to Raleigh, uh, picking up a connection down to Albuquerque. So uh, I had speculated about making like a main line from McAllen all the way down through Roseville uh, and maybe coming Raleigh across to Oakland and Santa Rosa. And uh, you know what? I think that is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I also, I think, want to include Clarksville and Laredo in the Raleigh line. Uh, but first, let's. Uh, we've, I've already got the bridge going. Uh, I guess this would be. Where's my uh, north marker? I need to make it bigger, don't I? No, my north marker's over here. Yeah, north. Okay. So, uh, across the north here, uh, uh, this this here, uh, maybe we'll call this the north main line, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, across here, uh, yeah, we come across to Oakland and Santa Rosa. Yeah. So that means I'm going to need a station in Oakland. Now, I might maybe put a put a uh, spur line across to McAllen from from Oakland, but I don't think that'll be necessary. So I'm not going to. Uh, instead, I'm going to bring this line around. We'll come through Oakland. We'll, we'll have a bridge. We'll uh, hit Santa Rosa probably along here, and that will allow the McAllen line to come in there as well and head on for Manchester. Um. Oh, I was thinking also Oakland to, to Louisville uh, would be a possibility as well. Yeah, could be. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's get started with that. So I'm going to need a, uh, a station in Oakland. Uh, so uh, there's lots of cash, by the way, so... Uh, we got good income, so I don't think cash is going to be a worry too much uh, in anymore in this particular uh, this particular map. But anyway, uh, buildings, right? Yes, we're going to need one of those. It's going to be eighty meters, and we're going to stick it in Oakland. Uh, right, about here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's Oakland. Now we're going to need Santa Rosa. I'm going to put it back here in Santa Rosa in case we have to gain elevation for the bridge. So, we And this alignment seems like it's probably appropriate. Let's, uh, let's put it more on that angle. Bam. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to stop in, in Santa Rosa. So, I mean, maybe, maybe uh, do a long line up to Detroit from there. I think that's what I was thinking, actually. Uh, a long line connection, the Oakland one could go up to Detroit. And maybe Ontario. Nah, a uh, C-shaped line there would probably be better there. I, anyway, uh, right. Uh, anyway. Need to uh, build the uh, train line, right? Uh, so, uh, oh, um, yeah, that should have been, the, the, these should have been two tracks, uh, right? Uh, bam, bam, platform, and misc. Put one of those. Put one of those. There we go. We have two. Uh, two tracks there. Now, uh, the usual uh, business that we do here is uh, uh, just uh, get these guys out. We'll go level and like that, like that. This is not a divergence one, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. But I am going to get this to go around, oh, somewhere like that. 
and this can come out a little bit further and do this. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, how does that go? Ah, we got a uh, ridge here. Right. Uh, okay. So if I back this up a bit, say to about there, and if I come over here, I probably want to go this way a little bit. And then I probably want to come... Now I probably want to come a little further. And then... Up... Oh, no, I probably want to, yeah, that's, that's better. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Now, can this get down into here? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it's fine. So over here is going to be. Yeah, I need to uh, double track this as well. Uh, so, tracks, yep. Uh, platforms, yep. Misc, yep. And roof, yep. Yep. Okay, good, right. Uh, now we go ahead and uh, grab a track. So what do I get if I come out of here like this? Huh. Interesting. Do, oh, I can, if I go upward, I can get to a viaduct. Aha. Yep. You know what? What? I think that's tolerable. Bam. Build it. Yeah. Um, no. How do I fix that? I take the road out. Build the track. Go ahead. Build the road. And then I uh, used N there, uh, shift N, to lower the road just a little bit going under the viaduct, right? Now, what do I get if I just come out here, level? I get something that is potentially functional. But I have to get rid of those. Okay, come out level. Yeah, I think that's a good height. Uh, I'll go with the stone viaduct there. And I'm going to come straight. I'm going to bend slightly coming across. Yeah, there's clearance there. Bend slightly coming across the river. Now, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make this part an embankment, and I'll say why in a moment. And it's so that I can actually do this without the game doing a stupid with it. Uh, 
because the game doesn't handle uh, merging bridges very well. So it, visually, uh, it works fine. It just looks awful visually. Now this is going to need a uh, divergence this way and a divergence this way ultimately. But let's uh, let's get the divergence to Oakland, Oakland first. Uh, and we're going to make this an embankment here, right? Uh, okay. Uh, come on. Uh, do that. Yeah, yeah, that can be an embankment there. And that'll make uh, building the diverging line here relatively easy. Um, we're going to need to come this way. Ah. I need to get the track out of the station here. Wee. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Now, this needs to come up to here. Yeah. Okay. That's a connection. Right. Good. Uh, do I want to get Clarksville in, too? E Maybe. Where the blazes do I put a station in that mess? That's a good question. Probably right in the middle. Uh, right. Building. Two. Yeah. Wee. Um. Yeah, we'll put it right here. Yep. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to configure this. And I'm going to stick a passenger building on the other side. Why? Well, if we go ahead and do this, we get more uh, coverage, especially if I do this. Okay. The catchment's better. Right. So this, I need to go up around through here, right? Uh, tracks, yes? Yes, tracks, right. Uh, so, we come around like this, yeah. And do this. Right. And then this can come up to here. Uh, if I put a track there, can this get up to there? Uh, not, not so as you'd want to. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do this. Uh-huh. We'll do a maximum up bubble this way. And one this way. Take that out. I might need a tunnel on this one. Maximum up bubble here. And there. Ah. Oh, yeah, that'll actually work okay. Yeah, I'm heading for Raleigh. Okay. Okay. Now you can go maximum down bubble now, right? Yeah, we want maximum down bubble. Okay. 
And more maximum down bubble until we get to there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. That worked without a... Uh, a um, uh, who's a what's it there? Uh, tunnel. That's what it is. That's what the who's a what's it is. Uh, okay, so we can come up here. We can take a natural uh, terrain path here. I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can take that. And then that. And that is a connection through to uh, Clarksville. Right. Now, I need to adjust the track up here at Albuquerque. So that it is possible to get from this line to this line without reversing at the station. Now, can I get a track in like this? Oh, I can. Does that look terrible? No, not especially. That's... I think that's tolerable. Okay. Uh, there's uh, they, they had a uh, release uh, just the other day uh, where the uh, upcoming uh, update on... Uh, uh, for Transport Fever 2, the final update, the fall update this year, uh, is going to come with three-way switches where uh, you'd be able to, you know, have a track like this and a track like this and be able to build from the switch point here a track like this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that will be amazing when they uh, when they release that. That'll be extremely useful. So this should allow deploying trains uh without having to to stage it somehow right so that new track you built it needs signals yeah signals that's uh that's a thing that is needed uh something else is needed here because this is going to be shared by two uh lines at least is an X crossing. So we're going to need a signal here. One here. Yeah. And over here, need one and one and one and one. And we have over here, we already have signalization. And then over here, uh-huh. I need a, a crossover. Wee. Yep. Okay, so we need a signal there and a signal there. Okay. Now, the exciting process is to find the uh, depot, which is over here where we are going to launch a train. Well, we're going to launch two trains, uh, I think. I think we can afford two. Uh, let's um, up-tempo the time on this. Uh, two trains is okay on here? I think two will be okay. So we're going to buy a couple of trains. And I'm going to add them. I'm going to pause while I add them to the line. We're going to go Clarksville. Raleigh. Oakland. Santa Rosa. Oakland. Raleigh. And that's going to be... Uh... Clarkville to Santa Rosa. Right. Uh, yes. Okay. 
Now, let's uh, let's come in here and take a boo at this guy. Let's just uh, you know I think this is going to be something of a uh, a theme here. You know, building a line and then riding a train out to it. And observing the horse-drawn carts driving along the road, you know, all that jazz. This would be a spot where a three-way switch might be useful. Not that I'd need to uh, rearrange this one, but... Uh, It'll allow making some things more compact. Why are we waiting still? Oh, a train. That's why we were waiting. Well, of course it was a train, you numpty. Right. What's a numpty? I don't know. Something I heard some guy say on the interweb. Sure it wasn't on a video? Yeah, but I was watching the video on the interweb. Oh, I see. Okay, right. Uh, so we're just going to sit here and... Oh, we're going to move. Yay! Uh, we're just going to sit here and observe the sky, right? Is it me or does that sky look like it's got some sort of, uh, I don't know, uh, smog in there? I think it's just me. Right, okay. Um, yay, we're going through a town. That's actually quite the uh, quite the ride through there. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean there is uh, a, you know I would love it for a uh, a game like Transport Fever Two with the graphics style of Transport Fever Two and all of that. Uh, I would love it if they if it would have um, maybe two scales, uh, one scale for working outside the uh, towns and another scale for within the towns where the the first person view uh will give you the town level scale uh as well uh so that you can uh so you can uh you know look at your uh your tracks and everything and be have them in the same scale as the buildings of the town right um as if you think about it, the town uh, is, is town buildings. There's not enough buildings for the populations and uh, things like that, right? So, uh, yeah, the, the scale is just off. You know, like like a uh, eighty meter platform in, at the tra for the trains is like uh, is uh, well, it's like two city blocks, right? And that's uh, th that's at least twice as much space as it should be taking up. So, uh, so that's uh, that's the thing. Like, I understand this, the scales uh, are adjusted to make the game more playable, but it would. I, I don't know. I, I've seen a couple games where they try to do it, and it doesn't really uh, work to my sense of aesthetics. Anyway, uh, and that. Uh, you know, it's, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's not easy, I don't think. Uh, not obvious how you would do it, but uh, it, it'd be nice if you, if, if maybe there was a way to, uh, you, you know, uh, build in the towns uh, at a proper scale that matches the buildings and uh, the way that towns would work. Uh, there's our new connection point. Uh, you know, uh, so that the buildings and vehicles and everything are all in scale and the platforms and everything take up the right amount of space. You know, that sort of thing. And then, uh, you know, and also maybe plot the uh, rails and stuff using the same scale for layout. Uh, but then when you zoom out, uh, simplify the scale and uh, maybe simplify the tracks on display. I don't know. I don't know how you do that. I, I really don't. I mean, like, it's probably not worth the hassle, really. But if somebody figures it out and does it well, 
be interesting. Probably four people will play it, right? Uh, but, yeah. We're waiting for something. What are we waiting for? Well, it's going to be a train now, isn't it? Yeah, just, uh, just observe the, uh, the smokestacks there. Uh, yeah, okay. Great. What am I supposed to be observing? Well, they're smokestacks, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Oh, look, it's a train. And off we go. Oh, this is, uh, this is working out uh, quite nicely. Uh, yeah. Um, at some point, uh, as you know, later on, with the faster trains or whatever, I'll probably... Actually, no, with the faster trains, I probably won't need to double-track this stuff. No, I'll need to for higher throughput. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Yeah. No, overall, it's uh it's working quite uh quite nicely. Uh Yeah, uh so if anyone cares and you think uh, if you think uh it would be fun to advance the uh the calendar some uh, you know, let me know. Uh, leave a comment or something. Oh, look, hovering rocks. Gotta love those. wonder if they'll fix that in uh, Transport Fever 3. Uh, assuming that they're working on that. And there we go through another spot. Yep. You know, I think, I think what I like about uh, deploying a train from a distant depot is that uh, you get a long ride without stops at stations, right? Yeah. Well, that's actually another reason I'd like... I, I, I would love it if towns could have a, uh, a, a scale uh, where you could edit more detail-like. Uh, the reason for that is if you were doing the local transport in the town, uh, it might work better if you could uh, get stuff a little bit more detailed. Uh, I mean, overall, Transport Fever and Transport Fever 2 have done a decent job. Uh, here we go. We're at Raleigh. Yep, we, we picked up half a half load there. And on we go and over the river. We... A little bit of a slope there on that bridge, but, you know, needs must. Right, and then we got to come through this here uh, sort of pass thing. Right. Now that worked out okay. Yeah, we're good there. And onward to the station here, where we drop off some people, pick up some people. That's, I wasn't expecting that. And then over to the next town. Right. Yeah, I could probably rebuild that and have a little bit less um, mankiness there. do kind of like that hump bridge they that it built for the road. Uh, right, okay, so here we are, coming into Santa Rosa on the viaduct.
There we go. And a full load going back. Nice. Yeah, and the height of this one isn't too bad. Yeah. Okay. Overall, I think I'm good with that. Okay, so we'll jump out of there. And over here will be the divergence point that comes up to uh, McAllen. And then, yeah, I think next time it'll be the line Manchester, Roseville, Peoria, Fremont, probably. Yeah, probably. Anyway, uh, that is definitely going to be enough for this uh, this outing here. Uh, yeah, definitely enough. So uh, I guess, uh, well, uh, it's definitely definitely enough. You know, uh, I did say early on I was going to do more editing on this thing, and uh, you know, I did a little bit there, but uh, maybe. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll I'll see about just uh, building up a bunch of the uh, the lines in the uh, in this area here, and then come back and uh, we can ride around on them or something like that. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, maybe. Uh, I guess we could call this like the Three Rivers Line. <laughs> The three bridge line, because it'll eventually... I'm going to put it across the Laredo as well. Uh, uh, eventually. Uh, so it'll be the three bridges line. <laughs> right, maybe I'll call it that. Anyway, uh, right. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm putting the, the cut in here. So I do have a, a, a Patreon if uh, for uh, some reason you feel like supporting the channel. Uh, there's a link in the description. Uh, and if you don't feel like supporting the channel that way, well, there's still a link in the description. You know, it's, it's just there. Uh, you can use it or not. Uh, and of course, there's the usual like, comment, subscribe business. Uh, you know, it's uh, apparently it helps things uh, if, you, if you do that. Uh, it's up to you. You know, uh, you, you do it or don't. Uh, and I guess all that said, see you back next time.